For most women, pregnancy is a time of anticipation and excitement. On average, a full-term pregnancy lasts 40 weeks, calculated from the first day of the last menstrual period. An infant born at 37 to 42 weeks gestation is considered term. A pregnancy is divided roughly into thirds, called trimesters. Babies born prior to 37 weeks are considered premature. The term viability refers to the ability of the fetus to survive outside the womb. Currently, the definition of a viable fetus is a gestation of 20 weeks coupled with a weight of 500 grams or greater. However, the majority of infants born at less than 23 to 24 weeks gestation either do not survive or have poor outcomes and those in the 23 to 26 week group often have significant difficulties but an increased chance of survival and good outcome. Although medical advances offer much greater hope for the preterm than in previous generations, it is still best for the fetus to remain in the safety of the womb for at least 37 weeks. While the woman's body goes through many changes, most last only for the duration of the pregnancy. During pregnancy, the growing uterus takes up an increasingly large portion of the abdomen, displacing surrounding organs. The diaphragm becomes elevated, the rib cage flares as the vertical diameter decreases and the anteroposterior and transverse diameters increase. As pregnancy advances, breathing changes from abdominal to thoracic. During the third trimester, the woman may experience shortness of breath when she is in a reclined position. Many pregnant women find that using an extra pillow to elevate their heads when reclining helps to alleviate this. A woman's oxygen consumption increases by as much as 20% in the second and third trimesters. However, the influence of progesterone and a 10 to 20% increase in her respiratory rate allow her to meet her increased oxygen consumption requirements. Cardiac output increases dramatically. During the first trimester, it increases from 1 to 1.5 liters per minute. During the second trimester, cardiac output increases by about 1.7 liters per minute and reaches a peak increase of about 80% during labor. The heart rate increases by about 10 to 15 beats per minute to accommodate the increased cardiac output. Due to this increased cardiac load, systolic murmurs are common in the pregnant woman, occurring in as high as 96% of this patient population. After 20 weeks gestation, the woman may experience hypotension when she is in a supine position. This is caused by the enlarged uterus compressing the inferior vena cava, impeding venous return, and resulting in decreased cardiac output. When this occurs, the mother may complain of dizziness, rapid pulse, and diaphoresis. This mother should be encouraged to lie either on her side or elevate the head of her bed. The optimal position for a pregnant woman is on her side because it allows for the most efficient blood flow. Blood volume increases by 40 to 50 percent during pregnancy and even more with a multiple gestation with increases in both plasma and total red blood cell volume. This begins as early as six weeks after conception and peaks at about 34 weeks. This additional blood volume is accommodated by the uterus, placenta, and kidneys. Although there is an increase in the blood cells, the increase in plasma volume is greater, resulting in what is called a physiologic anemia of pregnancy, with both hemoglobin and hematocrit levels slightly lower than in the average non-pregnant woman. <laughs> 